back to Winging It Buffalo style. As we are just two days away from Valentine's Day, it was time to call in the experts, our Western New York wingmen, to dish out what guys should be doing for their loved ones this Friday. We are joined by Greg Bauk, blogger, stand-up comedian, and loving husband, as well as Matt Carlucci, our good friend, local event coordinator, and loving husband and father of two. Thank you guys for being here today as our wingmen panel continues. I had to be here. It's a man panel. And your loving wife probably wants to hear what you're going to say, too. Yes, I, I, I hope she will want to. <laughs> All right, so we're two days away from Valentine's Day. <laughs> Let's uh, just open up with some opening statements. Who, Matt, why don't you go first? Just, opening statements on the day. I know I should have said on the end. That was, my, <laughs> that was a bad call. Um, I guess Valentine's Day, uh, the meaning of Valentine's Day has changed for me a lot um, over the years. At first, it was an opportunity to show girls that you like them. Um, and then I got married, and it's, now it's sort of an opportunity to keep her liking me, <laughs> I guess. Um, so, I, you know, some people say Valentine's Day is a Hallmark holiday or whatever. Um, but I, I think it's, it's one of those mandatory things like Christmas where you, you just you have to show up for it. Um, and after that, you know, it's, you can go on being miserable the next day, I think, if you need to. Very thoughtful. What yeah. about you, Greg? It's a great chance to be romantic, I think, to show your romantic side, and it's complete garbage. Because um, you have to do it. And try telling her, no, it's corporations getting you to spend money, and that's wrong. Uh, because you can't do that, because then you sleep on couches. <laughs> and uh, my couch is not very comfortable, so I love Valentine's Day and Maybe everything about it. Maybe you could get a it. couch for her for that, Valentine's that's, Day. That's a very comfortable <laughs> couch that I would probably have to sleep on <laughs> if she really knew how you thought about Valentine's Day. Because. Matt Snyder? I just think it's interesting that you're, it's sort of like you have to condense all of the love you should be feeling 364 days out of the year into the one day. Like, you know, we can't when? just be nice all year round. We yeah. have to make sure that we're extra nice with pink and chocolate and all that <laughs> on that one day. So, yeah. I like what you said you can go back to being miserable the next yeah, day. Yeah, I mean, really. Awful. I mean, my wife and I have a fantastic relationship. We love each other very much. Um, but the, uh, you know, the, like I said, the, you know, it's one of those things you have to show up for. You can't just, uh, your wife may agree or your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever may agree with you that, oh, it's a Hallmark holiday, you don't have to do anything. But if they do not get flowers or candy or chocolate or dinner, Okay, that brings us to our next question. Do you think that only women should expect gifts or should men expect gifts too? What are the expectations for this day? I expect a gift. <laughs> what do you say to people that think it's only for guys to get stuff for girls? Uh, no, I mean, you should both, you know, it, you should both get something if that's the kind of thing you do. If, uh, you know, if you want to celebrate Valentine's Day, I guess, you know, it'd be nice to get a little something. And my wife does that. We, uh, we do like an exchange thing. So I don't know. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be that bad. <laughs> Matt? Um, this man, Matt? Carly, you? <laughs> <laughs> you go first. Uh, as far as buying things, um, my wife um, handles the finances in the house, um, and uh, she has access to all of our um, financial records. So I can't, like, secretly buy her anything. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> so it's, there it's, are no secrets in marriage. Just no. know, <laughs> it's, it's this delicate balance between do I spend money that we need to put our kids in school to make you feel better about how much I love you. Because um, I know she's not going to, you know, she'll, she'll use that as the excuse. Do you spend turn. that much that you can't put your kids in school? <laughs> it's it's only no <laughs> school lunches are $1.40 a day. I have oh, no wow. food for the week because yeah. I showed my love. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I love you. Because I got you a card that sings. Yeah. All right, now from the guy's perspective, what are your thoughts on surprising her at work with a big show of affection, balloons, flowers? Do you want to be that guy that does that, or what does that take? I feel like that's just showing off. I feel like it's, this isn't a holiday that you should show off. You show your love. Because there's always that girl who you walk <laughs> by her desk, and she has three dozen roses and a balloon bear and there all these things. There was just a fantastic debate I was watching on Twitter before uh, I came here today, and the um, some people um, who know who they are were very upset about people that go on and flaunt their flowers and their gifts and their romantic this and that on Valentine's Day when they may or may not have somebody or have somebody that does that for them. And I, I think a lot of ways that people do that are showing a real lack of self-esteem. Um, because they have to be like, hey, look how much I'm in love and look how great I am. And I think that's the just... The smallest dog barks the loudest. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wisdom exactly. from Greg Bauk here today. Thank you, wingmen, for coming. Matt, you also have a dating event coming up in honor of Valentine's Day. Yeah, ironically, um, I'm doing an event on Friday for single people. Um, I'm a member, uh, event planner for an organization called Date on Purpose. And on Friday night, they're having uh, a recruitment um, 
event um, at the Ironworks um, in Buffalo in, in the Cobblestone District to bring on uh, prospective new bachelors and bachelorettes. And it's not like your traditional dating auction. Uh, all, half of the, all the proceeds from all the auctions actually goes to, to local charities and helps kids. So. All right, we will remember that. Matt Carlucci, Greg Bauch, and Matt Snyder, of course, thank you for rounding out our West New York Man panel. Happy Valentine's Day to you and your lovely wife. Oh, thanks, Lauren. Love you, Margaret.